how to create a digital planner in Canva. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a digital planner in Canva. Now, as you can see over here, I'm logged into Canva and you can sign up as well by clicking the link in the description below. You've clicked the link, you've signed up, you can start creating your planner. Now, it's very simple. There are a couple of ways that you can do this. First one is to find one within the template. So over here, as you can see, I have the planner template right here or you can search for it over here within the search bar and you can see the planner is over here. I've already searched for it. You can just simply search for planner and it'll pop up right here as you can see. You can just simply click on it and it'll open up. Or what you can do is you can just simply click on create a design and over here you can select the planner and it'll open up the canvas according to the planner dimension. So over here, as you can see, I have the page right here. And over here onto the left-hand side, I have my templates. So we have weekly planner, notes, daily planner. We even have a monthly planner as well. Let's go ahead and search for monthly planner. Now over here, as you can see, we have this option. Now, first things first is we need to create a cover for our planner. So I really like this simplistic design. We can go over here and select this one and we can go ahead and change the name it's a little bit long but you get the gist of it then what you can do is you can simply click on and you can add a page right here then you can select what you want so over here we have a daily planner and then we have a weekly planner and then we have a monthly planner let's go ahead and select a monthly planner right here we'll rename the page to january there you go and then we can add another page and for this one i'll add four weekly planners because there is approximately four weeks within one month and then we can leave it at that now pretty simple you know you can go ahead and design it however you want you can go into more depth add more pages add your own custom elements to it but generally you get the idea it's very simple Next, what we need to do is we need to link them together. Let's go ahead and add one more page right here and we'll move this page up. And in this page, we can add all the months that we need. So January, February, March, April, and so on and so on. So for that, what we can do is we can come back over here. Maybe we can find like a template that has all the months in it. and We can use that or we can use our own, you know, creativity so something like this like over here it adds right here we can add more blocks like this over here so that we can see but first let's go ahead and delete this one right here and change it to months now the font is different so let's go ahead and select this one this one was arvo so we'll just change the font to arvo there we go i even named the page to months it looks pretty good now what we can do is maybe we can change up the image. Let's go ahead and remove the image actually. So something like this. And let's go ahead and change the color to black for the text so that we can see it. Yeah, much better. Now, what we can do is we can add a couple of more blocks like this. So let's go ahead and copy it and paste it right here. So something like this. Uh, it's not properly aligned, so let me just align it real quick. So something like this, like you generally get the idea, right? Then we name each month and then we go ahead and link them together. So I'm going to go ahead and name them January, February, March, and then we'll move on. All right, there you go. I have renamed the buttons as well. Now what I'll actually do is selecting them and grouping them together, the names and the tabs like this. Select them together and click on the group button and you are good to go all right now that that's done they're all grouped now what we can do is start linking them together so as i said before as an example this is for january right what i'll do now is i'll just simply click over here in this corner called the grid view click on it and it'll show us all the pages that we have right so as you can see what you need to do is just simply add more pages like this. So for January, I added the monthly planner page once time and then added four weekly pages. You're going to do this exact same process in the exact same way for 11 more times so that you can, so that you have all the months set up. Then what you have to do is just simply linking them together. So for that, what we can do is we can select this tab right here, January, right? We click over here onto this link button at the top right corner. 
we click over here and we select the page that we want. So since this is January, we selected the January month, right? As you can see right here, it's done. This little icon indicates that it is now connected to this page right here. Same thing, what we can do is we can link other pages, all four of these pages to each other, and then we are good to go. Now to actually see if it works, what we can do is we can click on this button called the present full screen, present full screen. So over here, this is the month. Let me go back. This is the planner. We click over here. We get the month. Now over here, as you can see, when I hover my mouse over January, we get the, the icon changes and it indicates us that we can go ahead and click on it. If I click on January, it's going to take us directly to the monthly planner. Then if we click on it, it will take us to the week one, week two. You can change the names of week one, week two, week three over here. So as you can see, it works. Then you can just simply click on share and download and download it as a PDF. As you can see over here, choose a PDF format. We click on PDF standard and we can download this planner. So this is how you create a planner on Canva. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.